Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we are going to be explaining a mysterious update that happened to Grand Theft Auto 5 with the Rockstar Games launcher. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about with the Rockstar Games launcher, this is something that they introduced a couple of days ago, and it's meant to essentially be a Rockstar central hub for all of their games and titles that come out on PC. And as sort of an incentive for players to download this, they're giving away a free version of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So a lot of people have probably installed this, used it, and what it does is it basically takes your versions of Rockstar games on your PC and loads them all into this launcher so that you can play them in one place. And it's super convenient, but what this has done specifically for Grand Theft Auto 5 is a couple of things. And the other day, and I'll even show you some footage right now, if you were to log on to the launcher, you would start to see that Grand Theft Auto 5 is getting an update. And it's a pretty big update. It's 1.12 gigabytes, uh, which is not small at all. And typically when you see something of that size, usually it's a, a big patch or something that has to do with new content. And so a lot of people were wondering uh, what the heck is going on here. Is Rockstar giving exclusive content to versions of GTA 5? that are located on the Rockstar Launcher. This is something we've actually talked about that they could be doing in the future. Well, Insider Tez Funds 2 actually explains it best what's going on here. And unfortunately, it's not that exciting like new content. He says, not an actual update, just a patch for the Rockstar Games Launcher. Steam Database, which is another site we look at, shows they only added two kilobits to update.rpf. However, the game downloads the whole file, which is about one gigabyte, rather than applying the changes to the sections of the file. That is why the update of the size is about one gigabyte. So there you go. You have your answer. Rockstar Games did an update to their launcher, and apparently it's not optimized where they can just add the changes, so you have to re-download the whole file. That's why it's so big. Now, this can be a big deal for a couple of reasons. Number one, if your internet is not all that great, downloading a gigabyte might take a long time. And number two, sometimes it does lead to a little bit of confusion like this. And speaking of confusion, one other change that Rockstar unintentionally made to Grand Theft Auto V on the Rockstar launcher is people who wanted to play GTA V offline on PC were finding themselves unable to you basically had to connect to the internet even to play single player. And a lot of folks were wondering, did Rockstar sneak in a new DMR measure uh, when wedging the new Rockstar Games launcher into basically the files of GTA V? Uh, the last time this sort of controversy happened in gaming, I think was around when the Xbox One came out because they had the whole like always online thing and people did not like that. And even now, I don't think players are all that into it and apparently this is something that a lot of people had a problem with clearly well it looks like rockstar did end up fixing this and they said it was a bug although that's a little bit suspicious but i don't know enough about you know game design and coding uh to give you an answer of whether it is a bug or whether this is something we might see in the future. However, they did address this on their support page where they posed a hypothetical article titled No Offline Mode for GTA 5 After Installing the Rockstar Games Launcher. And the question they said was, why can't I set GTA 5 for PC to offline mode now that I have updated to the Rockstar Games Launcher? And they said in order to play GTA 5 in offline mode, players will need to run the Rockstar Games launcher and update it to the latest version, sign into the Rockstar Games launcher, update GTA 5 to the latest version, and then launch GTA 5 via the Rockstar Games launcher while online. So essentially, you have to update the launcher and GTA 5, play it once, and from there on out, you will be able to play it in offline mode. So hopefully that answers all the confusion surrounding that. Now, even though nothing new was added with the PC version of this Rockstar Games launcher, at least so far, no one has found like any extra content. It is having an impact on the game, technically because it was an update. That means that a lot of common mods that people use, like script hook and stuff like that, uh, that is not working right now because the game itself has actually been updated. And because of that, uh, mods are currently not working. 
uh, at least on the updated version that we see in the Rockstar Games installer. So if there's any other strange updates like this, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Uh, I'll leave a link to a video I did uh, a couple of days ago in the description that outlines the effect this update could have on Grand Theft Auto Online, even if you don't play on PC. So if you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more on everything we discussed in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe if you guys are new or you wanna stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.